plug and play add a subwoofer harness for your Toyota I want to do a quick video and explain um, how it works alright so first you'll remove your stock head unit and then you're gonna basically unplug the stock wiring and then you replace it with these two plugs so, uh, most subwoofer amplifiers do not have what we call a smart start and it notices a signal coming from this head from this wiring it's gonna turn itself on now if your amp does not have start smart you'll probably want to get this harness as well what this harness does is it sends a remote signal to your amplifier. Almost 99.9% .9 of every amp I've seen is going to have a connection called remote. The remote is basically a 12 volt signal that comes from the head unit. When the head unit turns on or your vehicle turns on, it tells your amplifier to turn on. So if you do not have a smart start amplifier, you're going to need to get one of these. Here you can see we remove the stock head unit in this truck. And Daniel's going to show you how to uh, how to install the plug and play wiring. It's really simple, and you can get to this point by going to our uh, going to our website or YouTube, and you'll see, we have a bunch of instructions on how to get the head units out. All right. So first thing, let me uh, we want to mention is some harnesses, and I'm going to zoom in here, and Daniel's going to show you. So let's zoom this in. All right. So here we've zoomed in on the six pin harness in this Toyota, and notice on the on the harness you can see two channels that Daniel's pointing to. One and two. Now on some vehicles you'll notice that the uh, the front has a little blockage there. All you've got to do is take a, uh, a razor and it's a tiny little piece of plastic basically just uh, take that harness go ahead and cut it and Daniel's just gonna cut the plastic it's not even I mean it's hardly anything you take the, the razor it may it does no long term it makes no permanent mods it's just basically a little channel they blocked off on certain vehicles all right so he gets rid of that piece of plastic that's all he did all right and you can still return this back to stock and then he takes our aftermarket plug and play harness plugs it in then the other side He's going to plug back into the stock head unit. Now, in other subsequent videos, you can want, you can look for them on YouTube. We show you where to run the 19-foot um, leads. We generally run them behind the dash and to your subwoofer amplifier. All right. So if your amp does not have what we call auto start, uh, smart sense, there's a lot of different terms for it. Then you're going to need to run a remote wire to turn the amplifier on. So you're going to you're going to want to get a whole. You're going to want to purchase this uh, harness as and well. He's going to plug that one in plugs in you, bar you can barely hear a snap now the other side plugs the other harness in and then now we take the opposite side and plug them back into the head unit put the head unit back in place and boom you're done you've got the signal you need for your uh, to get your amplifier going and then you've got the uh, blue remote wire you need to get your amplifier powered up then follow our other videos on how to route it to your to your um, how to route the wiring to your new sub amp Alright, that's it. I just wanted to go over how the plug and play harness system works.